The attack on Prophet Muhammad, for most Muslims, for most mo mainstream Muslims, and I would include myself in, the, in, the, in, the, in that belief, that the, you grow up with the idea that you should not depict the Prophet, not because of the Prophet, because to not divert the worship to a man and keep the sort of the attention to God, the divine. So the merit behind not depicting the prophet, the story behind not depicting the prophet in cartoons is not a bad one. It's, it's the midline one. So the question for me is where is the line between freedom of expression and between respecting certain values that are benign, that are not harmful values of other religions and cultures. Because we do that with other religions and cultures, be it Sikhs, be it Jews, be it other uh, groups of people. So where is the line, in your opinion, between where secularism holds between the freedom of expression and between the respect of values? Actually, uh, pretending that depicting the prophet, the prophet is not respecting him, this is completely a fake idea. Uh, you know, I studied Islam. I studied as a compulsory um, um, yeah, uh, in, in school in Morocco. And then in university in France, I continued, I chose to continue studying Islam as a sociologist of religions. And I've been looking everywhere in the Quran, in the Hadiths, in the Sunnah, uh, for a single sentence saying that the prophet or anyone else mustn't be depicted, I didn't find. And if if even I find such a sentence in Islam, we are a Parisian newspaper. Uh, you know, in our editorial line, we say that we are an atheist newspaper, so we are not obliged to respect uh, an, a, a religious or a Muslim, Christian, or Jewish rule. And those who say that Charlie Hebdo was obsessed by Islam, this is also completely wrong. Uh, after the terrorist attacks, the, the newspaper Le Monde uh, published that among uh, 324 covers of Charlie Hebdo during the last 10 years before the attacks, only four covers were about Islam and about 19 were uh, about Christianism and all the rest of the covers were about politics, sport, culture. So Charlie Hebdo was not obsessed with Islam. It's only, you know, as cartoonists, as journalists, when you understand that a cartoon can lead to all this violence, it means that there is a problem. There is a fascism at that specific point. And it is our duty as journalists, as cartoonists, just to break this taboo. Samia.